Baramati in Maharashtra is witnessing a family battle. It's Pawar versus Pawar with women in the family fighting it out. Joining us now is a national working president of NCP, Sharat Chandra Pawar faction, Supriya Sule. Supriya Sule is joining me from Baramati. Ma'am, really appreciate your time. Uh, you have been a member of parliament from Baramati since 2009. This is a Pawar family bastion since 1960. Uh, you are in the middle of campaigning, so really it, it, it is uh, an honor that you could give us time in the middle of that. What, according to you, is this battle going to be? Because the challenger is also coming from within your family. Well, at one level, it's unfortunate that uh, Mr. Chandrakant Patil came to Baramati and has made it a personal vindictive fight. Because Chandrakan Patil Ji came to Paramati last week and said that this battle is only about finishing Sharad Pawar. These are not my words, these are his words. Hmm. And I can get his quote and a video for you. So rather than making it about policy, about development, for the progress of the state and the nation, they have unfortunately people like Sri Chandrakan Patil Ji have made it a personal vindictive election. And Supriya Sule, how are you looking at the fact that you as a member of parliament of Bharatmati uh, is seeking re-election on the other side is Sunetra Pawar, wife of your elder brother and uh, who, you cons who you consider your mother like your mother, you know, your sister-in-law and you are very close. Well, the point is that uh, for me, I do my job very, very dedicatedly and professionally. I have to make sure my stakeholder is the center of every action or word that I speak. So I have to protect and support and raise every issue concerning my stakeholder, which are my which is every section of society in my constituency, in my state and in the nation. Because I'm fighting a Lok Sabha. I'm not fighting anybody individually ever. As you are aware, I have good relationships across party line in Delhi and across India because I believe in a vibrant democracy. So I think we have to make sure that we are heard and we must hear others as well. So I think in a vibrant democracy, it's about hmm. an ideological fight and a policy fight, not a personal fight. For me, at least. I'm going to come to the point that you've made about ideological fight in just a bit, but Baramati is one of the 48 Lok Sabha seats of Maharashtra. Uh, but it is the same constituency which has been nurtured by uh, your family for over six decades. What makes Pawars so dedicated to Baramati? It's not dedicated to Baramati. Of course, we are completely committed to Baramati because Baramati is me and I am Baramati. I am born, bought up, raised here. Everything that I am today or the family today is because of Baramati. So we owe it to every person in the last 60 years. Mr. Pawar has been in active politics and elective legislative politics since 1967. He started his political journey five years before that as a youth leader. So I think whatever we are, it's all Baramati. We exist, eat, lead, think Baramati is because we belong to this soil. We are a part of this soil. We are obligated to every human being's life who we have been able to touch and vice versa. So I, am, so I have only gratitude in my mind for where we are today and we owe it to every Indian citizen and Maharashtra citizen who has stood by us in our good and bad. So please, in the last few elections that you have contested, um, your elder brother, Ajit Pawar, who is now the president of NCP and also the deputy chief minister of Maharashtra, used to campaign for you. Uh, you know, vis visibly also, it used to be almost like a strong pillar of support for you through and through. In his absence, how are you navigating your own campaigning? I mean, since February, since I think almost November, there were murmurs about who's going to contest against me. And I think time is the biggest healer, man. So if somebody moves away, of course, I value relationships and people immensely. But so, of course, that personal pain will always remain. 
but i am here to serve the people it's not about my family that is even i think anybody should consider because my job is to serve the nation not just my family and let me come to the question uh, about ideological battle why do you I, why are you uh, saying this that this 2024 battle be it for baramati or or uh, 2024 india battle is going to be an ideological battle well ideological and policy because you have a different ideology than what our opponents do point number 1 and i'm very respectful about it because i believe in democracy so if they uh, like I, I repeat and reiterate what I said, that if I like to be heard, I have to also have the capacity to hear. That's why we are a vital democracy. I have a lot of problems with the power and bullying that is happening in this country. I have a problem with this authoritarian. I mean, it's almost like an, uh, you know, most people now even say that open, that it's an unsaid emergency in this country, the way things are handled. Plus the biggest agrarian crisis. Please, every time I step out, the biggest challenge is look at our onion farmer. Look at the milk producing farmer. Look at the soya bean issue. Look at the big farmer issue that is happening right where you are in Delhi. So there's a huge agrarian crisis, which is even if you see the big companies, it reflects in the economy that the rural economy of India has slowed down. And I never make allegations, Maria. I'm going purely by data. So mm. let's go by data, what data is telling us. And the government of India data tells you that in the last year, year and a half, the highest number of farmers suicide. It's very painful for me to say that because I feel that even if one farmer commits suicide, I think it's very painful for each one of us. But in the last one and a half two years, that the highest farmer suicide thing is in Maharashtra, which is not my data, Maria, it's the government of India. Hmm. So there are a lot of these challenges which are very alarming and worries. It's like these electoral bonds. And we were deeply failed. I myself spoken against the bond. Yes. In hmm. the, on the floor of the house. So we are hmm. deeply pained by what is happening. And please understand we are committed to the progress of this nation. The way Parties are broken, families are broken with the use of ice. Ice mm. is not the ice which you are putting in your lemonade, but ice as an income tax, CBI and CD. And now I'm not saying this alone. Even the Honorable Supreme Court, in many of their verdicts, mentioning this. So it's clearly very, very alarming for the citizens of Ma'am, my last question to you, as a woman leader, um, and also as a woman heading one of the political parties of India, how do you look at women participation in politics in general and their battles in this election? 50% women are citizens of this country. So I think we need the reservation bill to come through, which we have all fought for. As a matter of fact, this government even brought it. They wrote the check, they signed it, they put our name on it, but they forgot to put the date. All right, Supriya Sule, pleasure speaking to you. Hope to see you in the 18th Lok Sabha. Thank you so much for your time.